Gotcha. So maybe if you have high standards and you think you're a competitive applicant, get them help, uh, and then spend that next year or 10 to 12 months uh, really souping up or maybe taking some steps to make you even more competitive. Yeah, I think in Manhattan Review, I think our most value-added program are people who want to reapply to business school with this thing called a rejection analysis. And people are oftentimes very surprised. Business schools very infrequently give you really any sizable feedback or significant feedback on what they liked or disliked about your candidacy. So we take it, your entire application from an admissions perspective and we'll go through with you in detail and saying, here's where you met standards, here's where you didn't met standards. We work with a number of students every year so we know who gets into different schools, we know the standards on both or on a number of qualitative and quantitative factors. And we tell you if we were an admissions officer, how we would interpret it under different schools criteria. And it's a very, very value added program and because it really kind of gives you a real grounding on what you did right and what you did wrong. Uh, and we're in places where in ways you can actually start to, to, to improve yourself. Uh, and oftentimes many people are really surprised at the interpretation of what they provided. Uh, and they think they did a great job and we'll come back to them and say that your application was not at the standards on the following fronts and they're like, I had no idea. Uh, so oftentimes we think that's a great value added program, a really cost effective program uh, for people who don't get into the schools they want. Gotcha. Yeah, what I've, if I've learned one thing through this uh, series is that uh, there's more than meets the eye with these application processes. There's, can... there's a lot more than meets the eye, and and it's just I mean if you want to you want to if you want to put it any type of a direct correlation to anything in real life is pretty much like a jury, and mm -hmm. people sit down, and you may think that someone's absolutely innocent or absolutely guilty, and the person next to you has a totally different interpretation given the same set of criteria, and it's the jury that's sitting there. You're presenting yourself to a jury. And to get one of the jury to basically agree is a very, very difficult thing. Mm -hmm. And that's why we emphasize you has to be, everything you submit has to be of top quality. Gotcha. Anything else that we need to know about uh, the scar or the uh, reapplication process? The reapplication process, I mean, should be done as early as possible to show the school that you're interested. You really need to apply in the first round. Uh, if your time is really of a constraint, you can apply in the second round. You never wait for the third round to as a reapplicant. Uh, the second thing is, once again, really start addressing what their deficiencies in your application. If deficiencies are academic, then maybe think about taking a class or two and excelling at that class. Uh, if the deficiencies may be the perceived that you may not have community service, start thinking about ways to diversify your community service. Uh, once again, it, 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 it develop, it's, it's such an individualized process. There really is no um, one right or wrong answer for everyone. The right answer and the wrong answer really is a matter of you and your life and work experiences and how you presented those. Uh, so, but this general strategy is get it in early as possible and make sure you understand what you did right and what you did wrong. I really emphasize, all the other thing we'll emphasize is if you had not been to visit the particular school, you should try to go there either through information sessions if it's far away uh, or if it's within three or four hour drive or, or two hour flight, you should try to actually go there in person. Gotcha.